Space Technology Part 3 Satellite and Launch Vehicles First time I faced failure and how to manage failure success I can manage but how to manage failure Asked by Honorable former President of India Dr APJ Abdul Kalam the missile man who taught India to dream Dr. Kalam records a satellite launch, first experimental flight of SLV-3 in August 1979 to illustrate the meaning of failure and team management. The satellite launch vehicle or SLV was a project started in the early 1970s by the Indian Space Research Organization to develop the technology needed to launch satellites. The project was headed by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. The first experimental flight of SLV-3 was in August 1979, but it was a failure. Thousands of people worked nearly 10 years, but it failed. Instead of putting the satellite in orbit, it put it into the Bay of Bengal. Dr. Kalam said he was highly frightened because he was the mission director of program. He was afraid of the press conference. But Professor Sadish Dewan, chairman of ISRO, took the whole blame on himself. All criticized him saying, you have put so many crores into Bay of Bengal. But he assured them that next year we would succeed because his team was very good one. In 1980, SLV-3 was successfully launched from Sri Harikota range when Rohini satellite was placed in orbit. Thereby, India became the sixth member of an exclusive club of spacefaring nations. When it was failure, Dr. Sadish Dhawan, chairman of ISRO, took it up. But when success came, he gives it to his team. Dr. Kalam said, It means that in failure, the leader took it up. When success came, he gives it to his team. SLV was successfully launched in 1980. Satellite launch vehicle or SLV-3 was India's first experimental satellite launch vehicle. What is launch vehicle? Launch vehicle is a rocket used to carry a payload from earth surface into outer space. Launch vehicles are used to put satellite or spacecraft into space. Do not be confused with these terms. Space flight, spacecraft, and launch vehicle. Space flight means a journey through space. A spacecraft is a vehicle or machine designed to fly in outer space. That is a vehicle used for traveling in space. Spacecraft are used for a variety of purposes, including communications, earth observation, meteorology, navigation, space colonization planetary exploration, and transportation of human and cargo. But a launch vehicle is a rocket-powered vehicle used to send artificial satellites or the spacecraft itself into space. Why do we need rockets to go out of space? Can we travel to space without rocket? No. Why? If you throw a ball upwards, it will rise to the air and fall back. Why? because of gravitational force. That means the gravitational force attracts the body towards the earth center. If you put more force to throw the ball with a high speed, it will raise to higher distance. Higher the force you are used to throw the ball, higher the distance it reaches to. To travel upwards or to space, an object must escape from earth gravitational force. The speed, here it is velocity. The lowest velocity which a body must have in order to escape the gravitational attraction of a particular planet or object is called as escape velocity. For Earth, it is 11,186 km per second. That means an object which is traveling with a velocity that is more than the escape velocity can escape from Earth gravitational force and reach in space. That means if an object velocity is greater than the Earth escape velocity, it can reach the space. It can escape from 
earth gravitational pulls so one of the main feature of the rocket is its speed what is rocket rocket means a type of engine that burns fuel and turn the fuel into hot energy and the engine pushes the gas out of its back and there will be an opposite reaction that is newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and the rocket go upwards when the engine pushes the gas out of its back as its reaction rockets go upwards that means when an object a exerts a force on b b also exerts a force on a unlike aeroplane engines rockets do not need outside air to lift them after a level after high distance air get thinner air get thinner in atmosphere but here it is not an issue because rockets do not need outside air to lift them and according to newton's second law the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force no need to go in detail that just means if a small quantity of gas is coming outside the rocket won't be able to go upwards there must have sufficient acceleration to lift the rocket and to increase its speed thrust is the force which move the rocket through the air and through the space so the thrust is generated by the propulsion system of the rocket here the burning fuel create a push on the front of the rocket pushing it forward that is newton's third law every action has an equal and opposite reaction just remember these terms thrust means the force which moves the rocket through the air and through space such terms are often seen in news now about rocket staging the psl we has four stages what is rocket staging why do rocket need stages the effectiveness of a rocket is inversely proportional to its mass so stages allows us to reduce the mass of the rocket and increase its effectiveness most of the weight of the rocket is weight of its propellant that is its fuel when it go upwards the propellants or the fuels are burned off there will be empty tankets that become a large proportion of the weight of the rocket the fuels are burned off and there is only empty tanks and if we are able to remove these tanks that is the useless empty tank we can reduce the mass of the rocket and increase its effectiveness the mighty stage rocket can drop its empty fuel tank and become a smaller or more effective rocket the single stage rocket has to keep using that overseas engine and empty tank but in the case of mighty stage rocket it can drop that big heavy engine and reduce its weight after first stage completed it fall back to earth one propellant is used the whole stage is separated and fall back to earth and for the next stage there will be separate engine and propellant there are two types of rocket staging serial staging and parallel staging in serial staging a small second stage rocket is attached on top of a larger first stage rocket and in parallel staging several small first stage rockets are attached with the final rocket that is the sustainer rocket after the stage is completed it is discarded from the original rocket so here it can help the rocket to reduce its weight and increase its effectiveness the discarded parts fall back into the earth usually into the oceans sometimes it is retrieved refilled and reused some other related term launch pad payload rocket propellant launch pad is an above ground platform from which a space vehicle is vertically launched that means a platform from which a rocket is launched sadesh dhawan space center or sriharikota high altitude range that is in andhra pradesh is a rocket launch center operated by isro then payload payload is the carrying capacity of a launch vehicle usually measured in terms of weight it can be a satellite a spacecraft humans animals or cargo rocket propellant that is a material used to by rocket to produce its thrust thrust means the force which help the rocket to move upwards so this is a material used to by rocket to produce thrust by chemical reaction either it is high oxygen containing fuel or a mixture of fuel plus oxygen it can be solid or liquid solid 
प्रोपेलेंट और लिक्विड प्रोपेलेंट लॉन्च व्हीकल टाइप्स एक्सपेंडेबल लॉन्च व्हीकल दे आर डिजाइन फॉर वन टाइम their components are not recovered they are expended or used up during their flight a reusable launch system can be reused it allow for recovery of all or part of its component for later use expendable can use only one time reusable can be reused again launch vehicles of india satellite launch vehicle or slv3 was india's first experimental satellite launch vehicle which was launched in 1980 Augmented satellite launch vehicle or ASLV was a five-stage solid fuel rocket that was first launched in 1987. Polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV is an expendable launch system that was launched in 1993. Geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle or GSLV is the largest launch vehicle developed by India that is an expendable launch system with three stages. The first launch was in 2001 and the reason was in 2017. More details will be in next video.